Cerning shoot us here for a blue collar prepping. And in an unseasonably warm day, as you can see, ladies are getting out. And here in northern Michigan, you know, it gets to be very, very cold. So this latest installment of, you know, heating the home preps and keeping them warm. What I've done after spending quite a bit of time talking to folks that have chickens as well as doing some internet searching for information is that I decided to heat my coop. A lot of people say not to. Some, you know, you can go to like Tractor Supply and all these other farm places and buy these heat lamps and I didn't like that option. For one, it was too hot. I read and I felt. I only got five chickens. In addition to that, it wasn't UL rated. It was just a two prong plug instead of a three prong having a ground fault. And I didn't feel it was really quite frankly safe for the ladies and it would be outside. So I researched a bunch of issues and there's the prevailing theory that if you don't heat it at all, you know, chickens do what chickens do and they're different than mammals. And I thought about that. I didn't like that idea either because even with, you know, proper nutrition and getting them around to exercise, they're spending all their energy keeping warm and not making me eggs, which is why I had the little darlings in the first place. So what I ended up doing is with a little bit of intelligent shopping is I did a couple of things. First thing that I did, and I don't know if you'll be able to see this in here or not, I installed, we'll switch it around here maybe. <laughs> is that right there is just a simple ul rated incandescent bulb drop light and if you come over onto this side you can see where there's the switch just turn the switch off turn the switch on that's one thing that i liked about it about this setup because i can just turn it on and off I and mean, it's unseasonably warm and i'm going to be turning it off here shortly and the other thing I liked about it is that it was UL rated, it had a, three, a ground fault plug, things like that. As you come down here, you see my menagerie of setup. I'll well, be in blue collar, prepping, you know, that's why I have all this stuff is because I'm po. Is that I just use some zip ties, and set it to the cage, keeps it up out of the ground, out of the water. You know, I am protected from the wind, as you can see the wind break behind me. The wind prevails, that's west. And as you can also see right here, just use a simple Ziploc bag, cut a hole on the top of it. Just use some electrical tape, some good quality electrical tape. This will help keep the moisture out. There is still some venting down here, so we don't have any condensation in there, but it will keep most of the weather out. And again, all of that is UL rated. You do get what you pay for. And it was actually very difficult. I went to a whole bunch of different stores and the first place I went ended up being the sixth place I went because it was still the only place that had a UL rated drop light. So I'm a big fan. Uh, we'll see how it works out. So far, I'm just sticking my hand in there. It's warm. There's a couple eggs in there, which they've been laying about four eggs out in about four days. So we'll see how they're doing. And let them forage in this beautiful 50 degree weather we got going on here. So please, if you like what we're showing here, like my YouTube channel, subscribe to it leave some comments and concerns and questions as always be good be safe you can't be good and safe be good and dangerous